Well, this is all really, really, really wrong. This is that, that nurse. She was just trying to help you out, right? No, honey, I told you. When I asked her for her help, she wanted to arrest me. Oh, Kelly, I don't want to be carrying Max's baby. I know. All right, you know what? Just be cool for a second, all right? <sighs> nurse, can we see you for a moment, please? Uh, this is my cousin, the one who had the blood test we spoke about. Yes. Yeah. Uh, hi. Look, I know that the test came back positive, and I'm really, really, really appreciated. But, you know, it's just us here now, so you can tell me the truth. You, uh, you kind of fudged those results, so it would look like that I was pregnant, right? Absolutely not. You're pregnant. Is there a problem? Uh, no, 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 no. Blair, I want you to, uh, I want you to see an OBGYN as soon as possible. Now, Dr. Conklin, as you know, is terrific, mm -hmm. and you might call her office in the morning, but whomever you choose, please don't put it off, okay? The early tests are extremely important. Yeah, right. Oh! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's over. It's Hi. not over, honey. Stop being so negative. Yeah. Stop being so positive. Oh, wait a minute. Come on. You have Max exactly <sighs> where you want him. Use it. You're still going on trial. You need him on your side. <sighs> I have to go see Sophia. I will be right back, all right? Are you satisfied now, Max? Huh? You got your answer. It might not be the one that you wanted, but at least you know I'm not trying to put something over on you. Larry, uh, recommend a doctor to you? I want to make sure you have the best. I don't... Oh, right, right. You want the best for me. What am I, your top brood mare now? An hour ago, I was some lying piece of trash you couldn't care less about. But now that I'm carrying the great Max Holden baby, it's only the best for me. I just want... Do you know how that makes me feel, Max? You shot me in the back. It's not too easy to get over the memory of that. Yeah, well, neither is seeing you and Sky together in bed. Yeah? Yeah. I loved you, Max. More than anything in the world, you dumped me and you walked out on me. That doesn't go away overnight. I guess this is kind of sudden. But I do worry about you. Sleeping okay? Eating okay? When you're facing a decade or two in prison, I guess your appetite just goes away. I just hope I have the strength for it. Going to prison? No. For fighting Max with everything that I've got so I don't have to go to prison. out here all the cubicles are being used at the moment how did you do this anyway now, i was looking at a picture i broke the glass huh i broke a mirror once the night you showed up at bows but i assume you remember that dark and stormy night full of secrets maybe we should both avoid glass objects excuse me did dr mcgyver come back on duty yet Yes, but she's with a patient right now. Thank you, I'll wait. Okay, try not to get this wet. Well, I try and not do a lot of things. I don't always work. I know the feeling. But if you do get it wet, uh, blot it dry carefully and put a new dressing on it. There you go. That should be it. And if there's any sign of infection, fever, streaking, redness, drainage, give me a call. And the stitches should be removed in about seven days. 
I, uh, you know, hope you, hope you played it smart. About what? Well, that secret you were keeping from Bo. Oh, no, don't worry. Mom's the word. Finished. And if they're, the pain gets worse, then I want you to take these every four hours. Ooh, drugs. Listen, um... Thanks a lot. My body had other plans. Okay, you're drinking coffee. That's not good for the baby. Wait, would you just no. give it back to me? It's deep. Cuff. Okay. Thank you very much. And I'd like to be upstairs resting, sleeping. But all I'd do is lie there and think about what a miserable life that I've made for myself and this baby. No! Stop. This is not the worst. Jail would be worse. We are going to take one day at a time, okay? And today, you're going to convince Max to drop the charges. Oh, you know what? You so don't get it. It's much bigger than jail or not, Kelly. I don't want to be having Max's baby. Maybe you're not. Pregnant, Kelly. You were there when I was tested. Well, I get that you're having the baby. What I'm saying is it might not be Max's, right? It's Max's, all right. Do you know how hard we tried to have a baby? I should have known months ago. I just thought... Well, I... I thought I... I, I don't know what I thought. I'm just in denial, that's all. Well, honey, I can't blame you there. Having Max's child, my God, who wants that? It's my baby. I don't want Max anywhere near him. Him? Well, her. Whatever. Oh, Kelly, it's just gonna kill Todd. It will kill Todd as sure as putting a bullet right in his back. Well, that didn't kill Max. Maybe it won't kill Todd either. I want it to be Max's baby. Why does it have to be his baby? I don't even want Max in my life, Kelly. Well, you know what? Keep him around long enough to get you off those attempted murder charges, or you're gonna have this baby in prison. <sighs> Who is it? Blair! I need to talk to you. Uh, Todd, she's not here Shut right now. Shut up, Kelly. I know she's there. Upstairs. Todd, what happened? Don't Did you get hurt? I just came by to congratulate you on your brilliance. I mean, I'm pretty good at being cruel. But there's something really special about the way you turn the knife. Would you come here to torture me, make me miserable? Hmm? Well, you succeeded. Now go. No. Not when I have so much more to offer. Big Daddy once again. Break out the cigars. Another bastard for you to ignore. Why don't you just leave it alone, Asa? You were one lousy son. But you are even a worse father. How many, how many kids do you have? Frank, Leslie, and... Oh, yeah, what the hell was his name? His name is Al. Al. How could I forget Al? I'm really surprised you remembered. When's the last time you saw Al? Wait a minute now. Frank and Leslie, Christmas, maybe. It must have been years for Al. As a matter of fact, it's been years since you spent any time with any one of them. Just can't it, Asa. You can't take it, can you? Max, you know, that psycho Todd looks like daddy of the year next to you, boy. Look, 
I know how upset you are, and I can't blame you. But come on, Todd. I didn't have a crystal ball. I didn't know that we would even be back together when I was with Max. What, Max? Is just something that you, you settled for in the meantime? Can't you just understand? Oh, I understand. I understand everything. Except your timing. I mean, you could have had me out of the picture. I was willing to go to jail for you. You and Max, you could have waltzed off together. Happily. I don't love Max. No, of course not. What would make you happy, Blair? To go back to our wedding day. To look into your eyes and have you say, I do. And someone says, Hey, kiss the bride. And you kiss me. And I kiss you back. Everybody claps. Even those that don't believe in us star cheers. She cheers and we smile. Because we know that we've proved them wrong. That we can live happily ever after. Max's baby. You guessed you were already pregnant. <laughs> the day of the ceremony, it doesn't matter what happened. Yeah, okay, all right. Yes, I'm pregnant. And Star, she thought she was having this baby brother that turns out isn't even her brother. Well, it would be her brother and it could be your son if I didn't tell Max. You, you, you wouldn't tell me either, would you? You never would have told me. You're right. I wouldn't have told you, Todd. I would have let you raise Max's kid. You know why? Because there's no way on earth I would ever have your child again. But I love my kids. And you don't get any merits as a son either. I'm sorry for that. You deserve better. You're a good father, Lisa. At least you were to me. You believed in me the way no one ever had. And you stood by me in the face of a lot of pressure. Yeah. Why you were laughing at me behind my back. Never. I admired you. I loved you. I still do. Funny, isn't it? All your other kids will never know the Asa I know. You're glad? I'm the one who's relieved. I never wanted to have another baby with you. But that was Star's idea. She thought that if you and I had another baby, that we would somehow be normal. See, this crazy idea that, that, that it was me and you and her and her baby brother and to push around and... She used to talk about how great she thought it was going to be. Happily ever after. Yeah, right. This is from somebody who knows that there's no Santa Claus. Because she spied on us. Until I tell her that you're pregnant with the Max's oh. baby, oh, she's gonna hate your... No. <laughs> just don't tell her anything yet. I, I, I just... I, I want to think about it. You want to think? She's got eyes, you know. She's gonna see when you get all fat. Well, Todd, maybe I won't show for a while. You can see it now. You just let me be the one to say to tell her. I'll find a way, all right? She's gonna need somebody that she can trust. And I swear, if you tell her just to hurt me, you're gonna be sorry. And that's not a threat, that's the truth. I, I won't use Star as a tool to hurt you anymore. Thank you. I won't need to. I have so many other better ways. Whatever it is that you have planned and get it over with. Soon it will all be revealed. Just tell me, Todd. Blair, I know you're home. Open the door. I want to 
leave you alone. I didn't want to see you. You can tell me. It's locked. Reality check, Todd. Blair's having my baby. We will be talking. We will be making plans. No matter what our emotions now, Blair and I are connected for life by this child. And you are out of the picture, loser. You know, it's funny. Everybody always says that, and then usually it ends up the opposite. You, you don't play much chess, do you, Max? No, I prefer mind games. The beginning of the game is a standard set of openings. It's formal, almost rigid. And the middle of the game is all hairy and bloody, and you don't know who's going to win. It's the end game, where you win or lose. And what's that supposed to mean? I'm a master of the end game. <laughs>